I remember sort of um, when this whole, when this started to become a discussion for ages, I was like, what is a why? You know, what uh-huh. is the internet talk, talking about? And then it was this whole thing of me waking up and going, oh my God, I haven't got a why, right? Um, <laughs> because like you don't have that mission statement. And actually what you, what you find, we did a really nice workshop and we recently found our company why. And um, the, the, we used a consultant to help us get it. And it was a really big um, experiential, you know, we literally were out in the forest, dancing around a fire, banging a drum, you know, um, letting go of, uh, <laughs> it was really, you know, really cool. Um, but the one thing that he kept talking about, which I thought was really interesting, was that your why is never discovered. It's more uncovered. It's one of these yes. things that's always been there. And it's always been sort of like driving you. But very often it's so obvious and, in, and intrinsic to who you are and to why you do what you do that you don't see it. And so it just takes something to sort of uncover your why rather than discovering a why. What advice would you have for the people that are sort of like listening to this going, well, I don't really have a why, you know, how can I find it? No, I believe I agree with you. I believe everyone has a why. It's there somewhere and it's not something you're going to discover. Something is going to happen to you or you're going to have that what I call the aha moment. Mm -hmm. You're going to realize your why. I actually didn't discover my why till years of very expensive therapy (laughs) um, (laughs) after my mother died. Mm -hmm. Like everyone, I tell people this all the time. I think I turned my pain into work. Mm -hmm. So I I didn't take time to really grieve. I went right back to work, hit the ground running. I mean, at my age, I climbed the ladder. People always ask me, like, how did I climb the ladder so quickly? Mm -hmm. And it's because I spent a lot of late nights and early mornings in the office because I didn't want to be home alone. Mm -hmm. And then I had a a point in my life where I got sick myself um, and I had to slow down and I had to sit with my thoughts. And then I went to therapy and my therapist said to me, do you think you work 12, 14, 15 hours a day? just because you want to, you know, and we went through a series of exercises over months that brought out my why. So I always tell people it it could be as complex as that. It could be as simple as one day you see something, something happening out on the street. You're like, that's wrong. And I want to, you know, grab it. It could be one day you wake up and you say, you know what? My passion really is beadwork. Why am I a lawyer? I'm going to start a jewelry line on the side. Right. It just it's one of those things that that when that aha moment hits you, it could be something minute that triggers it or it could be something deep, painful or deep joy that you uncover. But it's in there because if we didn't have a why, we wouldn't get out of bed in the morning, even if your initial why is about money, because some people their why is money. I don't. But you get out of bed every day. So it's there. You just got to figure out how to uncover it. Mm -hmm. 